But what I've got up on the screen right now is basically the same circuit as we had before. And this one here uses a, uh, a DIAC to trigger the TRIAC. The DIAC acts as the same as the little NE2 does in the other circuit. It's almost identical to the other circuit. We've got a little bit of uh, extra filtration on here. And uh, so anyhow, the, the point of the DIAC is much like uh, using a, uh, a trigger lamp or a thyrotron to trigger the uh, TRIAC. Here's a little timing circuit. This one here is good for, oh, I don't know, several kilowatts. Uh, you can use just about any DIAC and any combination of uh, TRIAC and DIAC in the uh, uh, circuit here. Here I'll try to give you a picture of the parts diagram. How well that's going to come out. Uh, seems a little bit bad there. This is the parts diagram. Parts layout. I hope you can all see this. This is a fairly easy, uncomplicated little uh, AC to DC power controller. Uh, if you're going to try to use this on a uh, inductive motor, you're going to have a little bit of problems. And don't try to use it on a uh, fluorescent lamp because it's not going to affect it a great deal. Anyhow, this is using a DIAC and a TRIAC as a simple uh, voltage and current controller. So there we go. Instead of the NE2, this is the way we should go. Maybe. Alright, see you guys again. Don't, 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 don't!